Hi, and welcome back to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Today's subject, it doesn't pertain directly to building models, but it does pertain to making videos for YouTube, and um, which is what I do my models on. So, uh, Dan Nispel on Google Plus is uh, currently suffering from a dilemma that many people have once they upgrade to uh, Windows 10 or Windows 10 computer. Um, Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker, which a lot of us have used in the past, is no longer available. Um, you could download it as a standalone before, but uh, that's no longer possible. So um, people are wondering what to do. And Dan was going to, I think, uh, just set up his old computer and just use it for uh, editing or whatever, but that's not necessary because there is an app built into Windows 10 that you can use for creating videos. So, let's take a look and see what that is. Okay, so here's Windows 10, and here is what you do if you want to create a simple video using Windows 10. And all the uh, videos I've been doing lately have been created with this very app. Open up your uh, Explorer thing there, and then click on Photos, wherever that might be in your lineup. I've uh, taking the liberty of putting a shortcut in my taskbar here so I can open it up. So here's what you do. Now whenever I'm doing this um, I will uh, plug my phone in and when I do it automatically pops up a window that asks um, you know that searches for media on my phone and uh, anything that's not already on here, like if I have a bunch of videos left over, it will download the new or it will upload the new stuff. But if you're using a different device, like say a video camera, or if it's on a file on your computer, here's what you do first you want to import the video or photos into this, uh, this photo app. So you just go up here to import and you click on that, and it'll give you a choice either from a folder or from a USB device. Now if you have your camera or your phone or whatever plugged in, you can click on this and then get your photos from that. Or if you have um, video or photos already on your computer but in a different type of folder, all you do is click from folder and find the folder. Let's say it's this right here. And then you you know, choose the file and then click add this folder to pictures and it will drop it right here in the app. All right, so once you have the photos or videos in here that you want to use, then you want to click create. So you do that and then you want to you can do an automatic deal like if you're just doing a slideshow, you could choose the photos and then um, it'll do a, an automatic video with music, or well, I'll get to the music in a minute, but this is what I use, custom video with music. So you click on that, and then it'll show your, uh, your videos. Now here is my first failed attempt at doing this video, and the reason it's a failed attempt is because the color is all jacked up from my lights, and trying to film it on this you know screen, probably not the best way, but there you have it. So all you do, is you just choose the videos you want. Now here's the nice thing is it will put them in numerical order in your video. So if you've, if you've recorded a series of videos and you want to link them all together, which is the way I do it whenever I'm doing a build, um, it will put them in order for you. So that's kind of nice. So you choose those and then you just go up here and click create so you do that and then it'll go through this really quickly and even if even a long video like some of my hour-long videos it loads really quickly so then you need to name it so in this case I'm just gonna name it test and then you click OK and then I'm gonna take all this stuff off the storyboard here so I can show you so I've got my two videos it's like oh wait you know what I really want a, uh, a title page on there new problem 
go right here to add photos and videos find the background you want in this case I'm going to use metal plate background that I have saved on here click on that and open it and it'll drop it at the beginning there so um, here's what you do so I have all the elements that I want in my video up here so first I'm going to create my title page so you just go here drag it and drop it in the bottom then from there you can choose the duration of the video you can either choose what duration you want or just pick from one of these I like three seconds it's plenty long enough just to read the title then you can resize it there are filters which I've messed with um, there's motion which I've not messed with and 3d effects I haven't messed with any of those because I keep my stuff simple um, but I do want to add text so you click add text and this window pops up so then you can choose the style you want and this is the one I generally use right here electric if you watch my videos you've seen it recently and then you just click in the uh, text box here and there's your text so now from there you can choose your layout like if you want it to be centered or if you want it at the top on the left this other centered thing bottom or right okay so let's go with this one all right so you've chosen that then you just go to the top here and click done okay so there's your title page all right so then you just take the rest of your videos drag and drop like that and uh, you're good to go so from there once you have those down there if you don't want music or if you want music you go up to this thing right here at the top where it says music click it open it'll automatically pick randomly some kind of music I don't like doing music on mine uh, it can be a distraction if I was just doing a slideshow I would but whatever but it's got all these different ones and uh, you can even choose music of your own on your um, on your computer but in this case I'm not doing any music so real quick you can control the um, level of the music okay but I'm not gonna do any music so I'm gonna do this right here click none and then click done so I'm not gonna have any music so once you have all your stuff in your storyboard down here it's as simple as export or share so I'm going to export it and you have three alternatives here you have sh uh, small which is quickest upload best for email and small screens medium best for sharing online and large for longest upload best for big screens that's the one I always use because I like to be able to um, get the detail of whatever I'm working on if I was just doing just if I was just blabbing I could use one of the other ones but uh, uh, this is the one I generally use so click that and then it starts to upload so as that's uploading I'm gonna pause this so you're not just watching this thing go round and round so once it's done exporting this is what you have and if you need to proof it like I try and remember to do you just hit play here it'll run through the video tra -la -la, done so then you can go to this side over here viewing this app viewing file explorer sharing on social media or other app yeah not doing any of that kind of stuff but it does tell you right here where it went so it goes into your exported exported videos folder so you exit out of that exit out of that then just go down into your file explorer here go to exported videos and voila there it is it's ready to do whatever you want to do with it so that's all there is to it hopefully that was uh, concise enough that you understand um, the app and what you can do with it and how simple it is 
Um, so, you know, give it a shot. If you have any questions or comments or, you know, anything further you need to know about it, if I can answer it, I sure will. Just put your question or comment down in the uh, comments below, and I'll get back to you as quick as possible. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's, hopefully it's helpful, and Dan, let me know if it works for you. And uh, until next time, I will see you all later.